Padres hosting the Nationals. The Nationals are plus 158 on the money line. The Padres are minus 160, the minus 190. The over-under is nine runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that when they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you'd win. And the Padres laying a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Gray pitched once against the Padres last year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They lost that game 2-1 to one in San Diego, and he struck out three. Waldron did not pitch against the Nationals either last year or this year. The Nationals are 5-5 five and five as a team in Gray's last 10 starts. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.7 strikeouts per game in those games, and this is Waldron's first start of the year. Head to head, the home team is five and five. The Padres are six and four. The favorites on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last ten meetings, none in their last four. The over is hit in their last two, although the under is six and four in their last ten, and the under nine is six three and one in their last ten. The games they played against each other this year, the Padres are three and one against the Nationals. They won the last game 13-3, the game before that 8-6, the game before that the Nationals won 5-3, and the game before that the Padres won 7-4. The Nationals are 2-8 in their last 10, they've lost their last two games. They are 1-3 in their last four, the over-under is 5-5 in their last 10. 12 runs, 3 runs, 8 runs, and 16 runs. They've scored 3 runs in their last four games, one game they won, the other three games they lost. For the Padres... They are 2-2 two and two in their last four, 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and the over is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games. They've won their last two games. 7 runs, 6 runs, 10 runs, 16 runs. 3 runs and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 10 runs and a win, 13 runs and a win. So now if they've figured out how to hit and their bats are awake, it might be a long day. I'm just not entirely sold because I don't know what Waldron's going to do or how deep in this game he's actually going to go. And when Gray pitched against them last year, although I understand these are different teams, at least while he was in the game, the game was close. I'm going to go out on the limb here and take the Nationals. I don't know why. It's just a funny feeling. I'm going to take the Nationals with the money line, the Nationals getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.